Big thanks to Marek from Vixaboards for making this video possible. Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. And this is the 7000 watt peak powered Vixa voice. Let me tell you more about it. Wrong way. Later on, we'll do some more testing, but first, let me tell you about this thing. So, it's enormous. Just compared to the Evolve, which is next to it. Um, it's it's quite big. So we have nine inch wheels uh, compared to seven inch on the Evolve board and soon there will be also other si wheel sizes available from Vixa boards. Um, the battery unit, which you can see here, the construction is like this so the board can still flex and it flexes quite a lot. Let me just check it out. Let me just stand on it. I have the bindings on the other side. And because the trucks are on either side here, a bit higher than your feet, it has a lower center of gravity, which also helps when uh, driving. The battery is 36 volts and 15 amp hours, so around 500 watt hours. Quite a bit bigger than on the Evolve, which has just 36 volts and 10 amp hours. This is a 10S 5P. Um, battery unit with VTC6 batteries, Sony batteries that can discharge and charge at very high rates. In fact, you can charge the board with the standard charger in two hours from zero to 100%. On the GTR, it's 10S4P, so 10 battery cells less on the GTR than on the Vixa board. And it costs the same as the Evolve, so I think when it comes to range, you get a better bang for the buck here. We have two motors, each around 3,500 watts. Um, there will be also exchangeable gears here, so you can either trim it for top speed or for acceleration. Top speed, as we measured, is around 40 kilometers per hour from GPS, but I will also receive a different unit of this board, differently programmed later on the channel, so subscribe to see the next result of the speed test. Uh, range is around 40 kilometers when driving um, in eco mode and when you're driving hard probably it's around like 20, 20 kilometers. As you can see here there is a small screen, it has 65% of the battery left and around the same on the Evolve but I was pushing the Vixa board quite hard so that's probably why. The Vixa board deck is a maple and fiberglass um, combination. As you can see, it's very flexible. It has these trucks also on the other side with stabilizers. So these things can help you when driving at higher speeds to not get any wobble. Check out how the turning circle looks like and turning on these boards. There's no problem with the Evolve just to, you know, make a U-turn here. Same thing on the other side. It does introduce more wobble at higher speeds and when you're not prepared for it, it can just throw you into a different direction. In comparison, on the Vixa board, you can see these springs are for preventing wobble at higher speeds. First try didn't go well, let's try second one, second time. Okay, so you, 
you get the point that it's way more stable at speed and it's more difficult to turn in the city but you can always do this like snowboarders <laughs> oh. Oh. okay so now i got the thingies tied it up and let's show once more how to uh, make a u-turn on this vehicle ready <laughs> And you can also just jump over curbs or help a little with the turning when you're going, so like this. I wouldn't order this board without the bindings, for sure. Too much fun! Like a snowboard! Um, all in all, I have to say that the comfort when going off-road, and I think this board is also mainly designed for off-road, is quite superior in comparison to the Evolve. For once, you don't get a tight turning circle, which sometimes helps, but sometimes not, because when going through bumps and surface that is not so regular, uh, you, will, you, will, you will just go straight on the Vixa board and on the Evolve you might just rapidly turn. And these bigger tires, uh, also on different surfaces, are just just better the same applies to scooters so when you have a scooter with smaller wheels you just get less comfort but the turning circle in the city and the size it's 15 kilograms and a bit longer about 10 centimeters from the Wolf, makes it not so commutable in comparison to like a boosted board or uh, evolve it's more for off-road driving and higher comfort i think also longer rides okay so now we're gonna test the climbing abilities this hill has around 20 degrees at the bottom, up to 30 on top. Obviously the grip is not too good, so probably we're gonna lose it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so the grip is there, but Kinda after 25 degrees, I cannot climb. Should we try once more? I also don't want to make the results unfair because usually I just climb without any road up front. A 20 degrees seems fine to me. I think the big tires have the grip. I I can also grip the board better because of the bindings, but it seems just to me that for this kind of surface and this kind of hill, it's just a bit too much. Okay, it can get up, but you need a little bit of speed before we have that, so it's not a pass, but okay, let's go down. Need a little bit of training. <laughs> but the brakes is what I really like. Uh, they feel much more, much stronger than on the Evolve. for comparison of all these tires don't have enough grip that's what I feel nope <laughs> not with these tires anyway and the bindings they they change a lot so this the this hill is like 15 degrees steep well, let's see uh, I think at the top maybe a bit more let's see how the Vixa performs easy let's see how it is without any prior driving
It's a bit of trouble at the top. Maybe it's also already beginning to discharge. So, thing with batteries, this is a 10S 5P battery, so it's still a lot bigger than on the Evolve board. But still, it's 500 around 500 watt hours. It's a huge strain for the battery. I think actually that my V5F could do it. So, this is the difference between like unicycles and electric boards. There will also be in the future, and I'm very excited for that, an upgrade that you could just add a battery here. Maybe if you convince um, Marek to do this change, then he'll he'll also make sure to do it. I was I would really like to see a one kilowatt hour battery in a skateboard. <laughs> this would really you know tingle my pringle. Now you can see also a couple tests we performed. Um, here we have a line. I'm gonna break here. Okay, so that's where uh, the Evolve at the braking distance. Now we're gonna check on the Dixivore. So from 30, it's a bit higher because here there's a soft brake function. Let's test from 20 now. Same. Here you can see also the um, uh, remote. It's very simple. There's no touch screen, so you don't need to charge it every now and then. Um, the speed also is visible here. I cannot see it because it's uh, just the screen is too small for my eyes, but for sure your eyes would be able to see it. And there is no um, like safety button. I would like to see that uh, maybe added to this um, remote, but it's very responsive. <laughs> As you can see, um, it has two modes. One is uh, normal, the second one is sport. And uh, all of the parameters of acceleration and braking can actually be adjusted. So if you want less of a soft start or less of a soft braking, uh, now it's 30%, uh, I think, regeneration, then you can totally do it. So I if you were to buy such a board, you can always configure for example the deck for different designs the braking power and all of the and all of the components pretty much there's also a app for the vixa board which is not so common for electric boards you can track your speeds and you can even record your route which is shown in the upper part of the app and all the parameters are also really easily visible so that's a bonus here you can also see it has a really robust guarding system, guarding rails for the motors. So you can actually put it against the wall, like so. And we'll just stand there. You can see how high it is. You also have these lights, front and back. They're not connected to the battery unit, but you can just charge them. So I really like when manufacturers think about lighting. Yes, we do, right in the night. And uh, so that's the VIXA board. And I wanted to address one more thing, because the board is certainly awesome. I really like it. It has its benefits, its drawbacks, but overall it's a good product. But on the VIXA board page, there are statements about 67 kilometers per hour and an inclination grade of 45 degrees. And on these tests, it was pretty far away from these results. Of course, it was also cold and the owner told me that, that there was something wrong with a battery cell or all in all in the board, but I'm very curious to see the future results uh, of this board because while it's certainly good, it's still far away from the claims on the page. And if you are still here, then please like the video, subscribe to see more content like this, and I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.